We're bad. Yeah! Look at us party! By you. A marshy outlet of a lake or river? That makes sense, but the pronunciation doesn't. I was told in the comments that it's a Louisiana thing, which I guess makes sense for the pronunciation. Sorry, Louisiana, but... <laughs> this It's clearly Bayou, but apparently it's Bayou. The more you know! The more you know. You know what? I, I've long been of the opinion that the English language is in dire need of a rehaul. Like, honestly... And that just, that just proves it. That just proves it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin. Welcome back to Pac-Man World 2. Last time, we skated once again and lamented the fact that this is the final episode of the series. Ghost Bayou is it. From here on out, there is only one more level and that is the final boss. And I don't know, what is that? But <laughs> That kills me, that's what that is. So, I noticed when I started this episode that I was down to 24 lives. Well, I mean, I was down to 20, like, 29, but in practice, I died a few times. So, we're going to try to not die. <clears throat> uh, what's, what's a good voice for him? Pac-Man, I have been expecting you. My brother, the golden fruit tree, has been holding those golden fruit for far too long. Spooky told me that you would be bringing them with you in some vain attempt to imprison him again. We'll see about that. It seems that all of the others have uh, underestimated you. I will not make that mistake, for I am Wormwood, the evil tree of Ghost Island. Why did I make him German? I don't know. My maze should keep you busy long enough for Spooky to deal with all of Packland, And then I will spoil your golden fruit. Spooky will be pleased. You will make an excellent addition to my graveyard. <laughs> so we have an antagonist. Remember that, that foreshadowing very early on in the series about evil trees? Whoa. Camera, that was weird. Don't try and kill me like that, please. Well, here it is, evil tree. The game is wanting us to go onto that th th thing over there, but I think I'm just going to stay on this. We have a... Whoa, cam camera? The camera's doing a, a hard, a, is working real hard to make sure I understand that this is a maze. And I understand that it's a maze. You don't need to tell me twice. Ooh, token, token, token. And it looks like, thankfully, we won't have to deal with any more si sinking platforms. Well, as soon as I said it, as soon as I said it, the game sunk my platform. Where, where, wait, wait, am I dead? Wait, did that kill me? What? Watch this. Watch the master at work. Oh yeah. Ha ha ha. Did, did I forget to mention that I had fenced off the correct path? And now, and you can't go around my Finnish fence. Ha ha ha. I am German. I am very German. Feel my German wrath. My German rage. I have lots of German rage that you do not understand. This voice is going to be fun. I hope he keeps talking. Yeah, the English... Uh, what was I saying? The English language really needs an overall. I'm also going to use my trick. Um, get up to 49, and then... I, I technically have four more hits. If I can avoid pack dots. Which I don't think I can. Which means I kind of... Oh, no. I, I might be able to. Like, think of the word weird. And the rule I before E except after C. And then you have the word weird, which has an actual weird spelling. It's like, it's like they, they went for a pun. Instead of actually going for, like, you know, sense. <laughs> the English language is dumb, and I, I don't like it. So, this maze. I... This is one of my most... Pl or, not most played. This is one of my least played levels. So, oh, oops. Uh, if you're expecting me to... Be able to know this maze like the back of my hand. <clears throat> oh, he's not. He he's not talking. Ah, that's what it does. So if you're gonna expect me to be like, this is where I go, and here are the exploits. Don't don't expect that. I, they, there won't be any. That those sinking platforms. I wasn't just like. <laughs> I wasn't like making that comment, knowing full well that there were more sinking platforms. I legitimately thought, oh, this is a maze. They can't destroy the maze, or else we can't complete it. So there won't be any more sinking platforms. But there were. 
there definitely were. There are, it also looks like there's some paths that we don't have to take. It's it's very much a maze. Like I could have gone over to that platform over there, past the boardwalk, right from the get go, but that you know I didn't. So maybe we'll oh, whoops. Maybe we'll hook back up with that. I'm not exactly sure what to expect from this. It's it's kind of weird because. This entire world has been this cacophony of different mechanics. Like, we had, starting off, we had the I, the uh, skating, returning re the return of the skates, and then we had a a very linear level. Like, it it was crazy linear. As long as you collect, why would they put the pack dots there? That's kind of jerkish. As long as I collected, uh, I can make that jump. As long as I made sure to defeat every enemy, I was fine. I could just, you know, I, I, it was linear. There were no split paths. But then there's this one, which is entirely non-linear. It's like the definition of, do they, they really want me to do this? That's kind of crazy. The developers are so, okay, that's, this isn't going to fall, are so in tune with their physics. It's, uh, it's best if I do this and then curve. It's really crazy. Like, I did not expect the developers to expect us to do that. That's not something you'd see in, in a random Mario game. Like, look at that. They really want you to be good at this game. And in fact, I'm going to take this risk to grab that. There we go. And on the last level, I should really be taking risks. Uh, this is my last opportunity to, or one of my last opportunities to prove the skill that I've been developing all game. So, I, playing safe, that's that's really not for me. It's really not for me. Uh, let's jump over here. I have no clue where we're supposed to go. A lot of these, I, I'm guessing, are just kind of excuses to hide fruit. So if you want to get 100% completion, you have to get, you have to go down every wrong path, uh, like this. I don't even know if this is the wrong path or not. Um, and I, you know what? I think I can cheat this. Jump on? No. Be very careful. Come on. Might have to be quick. Woohoo! Come on. Yes! 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 Speedrunning tactics for the win! And technically I could have gone, you know, I could have curved it, curved it around, but... And more pirates! More pirates! Interesting, I still think that's a very interesting enemy to put in the ghost bayou, because... Pirates aren't what the first thing you think of when you think of ghosts. You think of, like... You do think of skeletons, but not pirate skeletons. It's just, that rather odd. Hello. Secret! Yoink! Yoink! Uh... That! You see that over there? Is there a way? Wait, where'd it go? Did it disappear? No, it's... Oh, it's does. It's right there. Huh. I'm not sure how to get over there, but I assume I'll find out? I don't think I can get long enough a long enough charge to launch myself over there, so... I'm just gonna have to go back, I guess. I think there was a third path I haven't taken. But yeah, if the developers are are adding that layer of difficulty, careful, then it makes me wonder how many secrets are in here that, or or uh, shortcuts that I could just rev roll and just kind of cheat. Uh, we could take this, right? I'm dead. <laughs> these jumps are incredibly tight. If you don't make these just right. You, you die. Uh, in fact, yeah, I almost thought I didn't make that. This this level would be so difficult for a new or just kind of bumbling player who just farmed lives to get through. And probably childhood me had a lot of problems with this. If I, I don't remember it real well. I don't know how you made it past my fence. Perhaps you do indeed possess brains. Let's test your brawn. If you don't defeat all of my skeletal minions before the sands of time run out, your time will have truly run out. Uh... Oh, timer! Nope. Oh, okay! They're, they are really testing everything. And here they're, they're testing my ability to hold the control stick and press A! The test of the ages. This is actually better combat than you get in Pac-Man World 3. Oh, I have, I have no time left. Come on. I can't afford to be missing these. Oh, I'm dead. I failed it. They're so slippery. Oh, yeah. Wow. That kills you. Okay. Wait, this is a dead end. No! Yeah!
Yes! Yes! That was so- that was down to the last second, right? I- I didn't have time to look at- <laughs> I didn't have time to look at the clock, but that was down to the last second! That was so tight! And it looks like- wow, they gave me a lot more of these dudes than I needed. So I, I just need to keep on. If I had just kept on, I probably would have done it. Well, I survived. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are they- what? Can I make that jump? I- I think I can make that jump. Hoi! Yes, I can. Okay, that was a lot less difficult than I thought. Uh... Split path. I think they both... Wait, is that the end of the level? Okay, if that's the end of the level... I don't think it's the... That can't be the end of the level. Th that seems way too short. You see that, right? That looks like the end of the level. But we have all this. Is this... Oh, this is for the Galaxian, I bet. Uh, this does nothing. What about over there? This is really odd. Maybe it's a warp. It could be a warp. In fact, yeah, I think that's a warp, because that looks nothing like the end of the level. It's white. White things aren't the end of the level. Whoa! Game just changed. Man, it- so much of this level, it just looks like other parts of the same level, so it's hard to recognize what- what's happening. Yeah, that's what I thought. We've seen that before, I think, on, uh, we've seen that before in Ice River Run. Yeah, Ice River Run. So, yeah, this level is far from over, it looks like. It's, it's kind of crazy how much this thing sprawls on, and watching a speed run of this is kind of crazy. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you do? You unpress the other button, right? You do something. Yeah, you, you undepress the other button. Look at the pack dots as well. Look how they want us to be getting these pack dots. It's it's weird, man. It's like they realize all these different difficult things, and they're throwing them into the last level. It's like, yeah, you're going to have to work for this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that token. I got it, but still, I got it under protest. This level is surprisingly difficult for being one that isn't rushed at all. Like, there was that one segment at the beginning with the falling platform, but it wasn't rushed. Please don't just depress the other button. Please do something. I don't want to just go back. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. Ha! Huh. Can't get me. I think we're probably on the final stretch, though. Before the very final boss of the game. It's- who is Clyde? Not- not- not spooky. Although, honestly, the Clyde fight, which is actually the Blinky fight, that was more, probably more difficult than the final boss, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, that button will come in, uh, will be important later. This, this actually, this area <laughs> reminds me of many different places in Washington. Is this stuff going to collapse? Because it looks like it's going to collapse. Oh, we, okay, we saw this, this area earlier. We saw this chain earlier. Yep. That will take us. Hoi. Hoi. Yoi. Where is that taking us? Um. Oh. Is he gonna speak? Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what did that show us? Did that, that show us that the button is just magically depressed? I think it did. Oh, we're so close to the tree. We're so close. In fact, jump on this. Go over here. There's, you see that ghosty ghost? We jump over here. We did. We have not been here before because, yeah, these ghosts are new. In essence, I think I just somehow broke it. Oh, wait, no, this this is where the Galaxian is. Oh, well, that there's my checkpoint. I can, yeah, I can make that jump. The final Galaxian of the game, and it looks like a level we've already done. If I can zoom out, are there any weird differences? Oh, I died because I wasn't looking. No, this looks pretty standard, actually. This looks like a standard level. I'm just gonna have to complete it a life down because I was complacent. Two lives down because I was very complacent. Okay. I think I did it. The hardest one in the game? Yeah, the hardest one in the game I bundled, I bungled, bungled, bundled, I bungled, bumbled.
bundled, but bun bunned. I bun bunned that pretty hard on those first two lives. But I, at the end, I got my checkpoint, and now I have to make these jumps. Remember where I was going? And I think this might have shortcutted me to the end. I think. Unless, actually, you know what? No. If memory serves, this fenced off area in the center is completely fenced off, and the only way we can get to it is to get a pack dot chain. I, th I don't think there's any entrance into it outside of, of glitching. So this area that I found, that I, I was so clever to find, it looks like it's just a ton of fruit. Like, a metric ton of fruit. Oh. I don't know how you made it past my fence. Perhaps you do indeed possess brains. Let's test your brawn again? Question mark? If you don't defeat all of my skeletal minions before time the time of sands run out runs out, your time will have truly run out. Wait, why again? I think I feel I have a feeling that doing that Galaxian was bad and it reset this challenge. Either that or we entered the challenge from the opposite way. Come on, six, five. Alright, I think I Yeah, I got this no problem. Come on, these last two. Boom. That was kind of weird. Is this the same area, or does he just have the same text again? That was really odd. Wait, this is the same area. What? Uh, uh... I'm starting to get very lost. <laughs> Aiming for the low part. Yes! 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 I did it! That was so cool! That's not what you're supposed to do at all. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do because it, you're supposed to somehow depress that blue switch and then I'm guessing it would send you, whoop, hello pack dots, suddenly. It would send you a, across to that thing, but oh boy. And now I, I know I could do it again, but I don't want to die because I know that'll lead to me getting lost again. But now I think I'm on the right track. I go this way. And I'm gonna aim for that shallow part. Yes! I am a beast! Using the skills that I have accumulated thus far. Okay. Aiming for the low part. Yes! I am good at this game. All melons collected! I might be able to do this. Uh. Mmm. Uh, you know what? You know what? If I do it, that makes the thumbnail. This is a thumbnail moment. Nope! <laughs> so now I'm on this thing. It feels almost like the fog is getting closer. I don't think it was this close when I start- <gasps> Oh, is this it? Wait, what does the button do then? Okay, okay, okay. What does the button do? Oh, that, that was just taking us to the button. Okay. Do you see the check mark over there? There's a check mark. And now we need to go that way. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, you see the switch over there? That's where I need to go. That's where I need to go. Finally making progress to this level. And I'm not sure at the end if I actually like this level. Uh, it, it feels bad to say for the final level, but it's so confusing. And I, if I fail this, that's it. That's it. I just die. I have to do all this again. The checkpoints, uh, okay. N this is for the bacon. This is for the bacon. Yes! Grab the checkpoint. We're actually really close to 100%. 100% 100 is uh, 150, and we're seven off. So there's a chance I'll be able to get my own footage for showing off the reward for 100%, even though this was not a 100% run. That's pretty great. What does this do? Another thing. Oh, no. No! No! It keeps going! We've been here, though! <laughs> Why? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We have been here. They just didn't want us sequence breaking. And this is the end of the thing. There's the tree. Whoa, it's wiggly and squishy. I don't like squishy trees. They're usually pretty gross. Hello, Mr. Tree. 
Pac-Man. You have defeated my maze. It seems that I am no I am no match for you. This flames grow weak. Spooky. Oh, Spooky's here. <clears throat> my tree. Pac-Man, what have you done? I don't know why he has this voice. How could you have defeated the heart of Ghost Island? All of Pac-Land Pac will pay. Your precious tree will be nothing but broken branches when I'm done with it. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Oh, the tree's dead! We killed the tree by... something. I'm not exactly sure how we killed the tree, but we killed the tree! The tree is dead. Interesting uh, thing to note is that you can act uh, in the Game Boy Advance version of this game, you can f uh, you fight Wormwood. So this was at some point maybe intended to be a boss battle. Uh, I believe that the GBA port was handled by a different team. So there is that, but the idea was there, and it makes sense. It does make sense for this to be a boss battle. But the boss battle is to come. This episode, strangely, 47,000 points. Wow. Except the boss fight is not going to be on Ghost Island. It's going to be, oh man, in Pack Village. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the end of the game after uh, the longest level in the series? Uh, it it kind of hurt. It kind of hurt, honestly, since I won't be able to get my thoughts out on this level later because the the series will be ending. This is not my favorite level of the game, and it's not one I'm excited to replay. Look at the amount of pack dots. 553 pack dots is crazy. And it makes 100%ing that so difficult, and I'm going to have to do it. Uh, it's painful. But thankfully, I don't... I mean, I, I do kind of have to do it if I want to 100% the game. Which, at this point, I might want to. All right, the final level of the game, Spooky, going back to Pack Village to fight to face the final boss. Good plan, Spooky. Good plan. Approach us after we put the golden fruit on the pack on the uh, the tree. Even though you had ample time to destroy the tree, Pac-Man, your golden fruit cannot save you now. Nobody can break through my iron concentration. Now taste the might of my meteor shower. This boss fight, I am going into fairly blind because I've only completed it a few times. This is honestly my least played segment so enjoy me figuring this out as we go strangely enough this area is different than actual uh, actually is it different yeah it is different than actual pack village stupid neander pack you will spawn enemies which aren't too threatening on their own right but they can pile up so I need to defeat them as they come his attacks are very difficult to dodge uh, can I, I think I, I believe I can flip kick him. Yep. I can flip kick him when he is charging his attacks. Otherwise, he's too high up. The golden power up doesn't really amount to anything. It's just a story thing. Uh, grab that. I can't actually, oh, they're spawning an enemy. Oh, no, just a lingering hitbox. There's a, a pack site. Oh, hit him. I believe if he does that, that he's charging up the, uh, the meteor shower. That was kind of unfair. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dodge his attack. Oh, wow. He hit me? How did he hit me? How did he hit me? I'm trying to see if I can... 
break those. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Come on. I couldn't. Oh, there's the thing. Keep running. Keep running. Oh, hell. Cool. Man, this music is really good. I don't remember this on the OSD. Neander pack over there. Kill it with a uh, B bounce, I guess. Bunch of Neander packs. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that attack. The meteor shower is apparently not enough. These fireballs will finish you off. Keep running. Keep running. Um, oh, more health, more health. I need that. I need that. No, don't use this attack. Oh, this this is leaving behind ghost fire. Just like uh, just like Clyde and the Caldera. Honestly, Clyde and the Caldera seems to be more difficult. Although these these attacks are extremely hard to dodge. Don't hit me. Camera up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up, come down close. Come down close. Looks like he positioned himself over one of the the spiky plants so that I couldn't. I might have to take damage. Whoa, fire! Jump! Fire! Don't hit me, fire! Man, he is... There's so many attacks that he has. And this might kill me. I might die. I don't want to die. I don't want to go. Call me David Tennant because I don't want to go. Keep running. Don't hit me. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Please spawn health. Please spawn health. Ah! Oh! Come on, hit him. Yes. Got a hit in. Somehow I didn't take damage. Whoa. Spoke too soon. He has so many different attacks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did not see this attack coming. Come on, keep going. Keep running, keep running. Pack a sight. Come here. Pack a sight. Pack a sight. Pack a sight. Come on, man. No. Yes. Enough. You will never defeat me if you are in a daze. Say goodbye to Pac-Land, Pac-Man. I am secretly a rapper. Because I have those sick beats. Come on. Wow. He has two of these attacks. Oh, jump over. Okay, he spawned an enemy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You use that attack. You use that daisy attack. As long as that daisy attack can't hit me and opens you up for attack. He's constantly doing this, which means I can't rev roll to keep up with him or to dodge. He has like three hits left, I think. Oh, there, there's an attack. Yeah, nice attack you got there. Spooky. I had to look at your name tag. Whoa, what on earth? Oh, rev ram? A rev ram? Don't, get a rev ram out of here. Why is there a rev ram? Get a rev ram out of my final boss fight. I don't want a rev ram in my bo final boss fight. I can't. I can't counterplay that. T okay, where's the Rev Ram? Oh, it's so hard to hear over the music. Yeah, no Rev Ram. I can't, I can't Rev Roll him because of this fire. I can't hear him. Where is he? Okay, I hear him now. Time it right. Last hit.
so happy that I played this game. Oh, wait. Save, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting credits. There they are, which you can actually experience on the title screen. Going into this Let's Play, this, is, uh, this was an interesting Let's Play for me, because it started out as me wanting to take a break. Me doing a casual Let's Play after the... the... Uh, the fest that was Breath of the Wild with the Korok seeds, with editing three or four hour recordings down to one episode. I wanted a break, and originally this was supposed to be that break. I was just going to, there's Vince Jolie, I was just going to play this game, two levels an episode, nothing more. I would follow kind of a, a Pikmin 2 style where I would talk about the game's development as I played the levels, but that turned into something different. And it started with Vince Jolie, where I had I couldn't do that Q and A while I'm playing level because I couldn't talk about the level while doing that. So I, I made it, to, it made it its own segment. And then the next episode, I made the Namco mini doc, and I realized that that's what the series was going to be. The next episode, I made probably some of the best content I've ever made in the channel. I dare say the best segment, the best single segment I've ever made. Um, maybe Ghost of the Past is rivaling it, but for the most part, it was it was so good with the the ice level segment, uh, and that's what the series became. And even though it meant that I was putting a lot more work into these episodes, I I still feel revitalized. This series still refreshed me after Breath of the Wild. Uh, it, it sounds like I'm speed talking. It's because the credits are almost over. And going into this let's play, I knew it was going to be a different one. Because the game is different. And yeah, the credits are already over. This was a very small team. It was going to be different. Because if you look at the other games that I've played on my channel, they're games that are known. Pikmin 1, or just the Pikmin series, the Zelda series, Earthbound, Okami, uh, Super Paper Mario. They're games that are people are aware of and have... They have a recollection of, and, and they know that it has a pedigree, that it's Nintendo that made it, so it's it's probably going to be pretty good, even if they know nothing about the game itself. But this game, I knew that, and the comments, the surprised comments reflected it, that I knew it was going to come out way out of left field, and a lot of people were surprised, because this seems like a third-party game that you'd pass up on the shelf, uh, it's like, you look at it and it's like, oh, well, it's, it's just another Sonic game. I seem to hate on Sonic a lot in this, in this <laughs> Let's Play. Uh, believe me, I, I, I'm I okay with Sonic as a franchise. Cough, cough. Uh, <laughs> you see it and it's like, well, it's just another Sonic game. And you don't buy it unless you've heard something about it. It's like, oh, Sonic Colors is good? What? Okay, I'll pick that up. Sonic Generations is amazing? Oh, wow, okay. But if you just see it on the counter, like... If you see it, if you see uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures on the on the shelf, you're like, eh, I haven't heard anything about it. It's probably not that great. But Pac-Man World 2, it's been great to sh to see these reactions of people being like, wow, the, a lot of thought went into this. These these first levels set up for mechanics that the later levels in that same world explore fully, and then they move on to the next thing. Um, this level. Ice River Run, it's kind of nice that I have map control here so I can show this, but like, Ice River Run, it's like, okay, there are ice, ice physics, yes, but if you platform well, you, you can avoid those, it's, it's great. Or this, it's like, yeah, you haven't seen Avalanche in an ice level before for no reason at all, let's give you one. Or this, where it's like, let's take ice, ice physics and ramp them up to 11, but the player will love it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. I... I enjoyed this Let's Play a lot. This this was, like I said, a childhood favorite for me. I played through these levels over and over and over again because they just feel so good. This is a platformer that has things in it that just have to be appreciated. While it's not my favorite game of all time, and it's not going to be showing up in many people's top 10 favorite games of all time, unless, like, they played as a kid, never played again, and so, like, this is something that they love because they grew up on it. But it's honestly worth entering the conversation. If you if you find yourself talking about ge the GameCube era or the PS2 era, bring up this game. Because it's it's an interesting study. It does things, it has level designs, level conventions that are never really bridged again. And th I think the only downside of this entire game, the entire game, 
is that it's too short. Because I'm left ending the series wanting more. I'm wi I'm wanting to be able to say the reward for 100% is getting another world, and I'll see you guys next time for get for playing that world. It's too short, and it's partially because there are no other games in the series. I mean, Pac-Man World 3 exists, but it was a completely different team. It's not good. It is not Pac-Man World. And Pac-Man World 1, its age shows, and this feels like a much better version of Pac-Man World 1. So, the biggest downside and what leaves me feeling a bit empty as I end this series is that the series never continued. And the other... The other Pac-Man world, or the other Pac-Man platformers don't don't leapfrog off of this as much as they, they should or could. And so this is the only game of its of its kind. And it's it's just kinda it's kinda sad. But it's a fantastic game. If you want to play it, please do. It's so cheap online. It's so incredibly cheap. It's like $7 to get a copy of it. So please, play this game. You will have fun. At least buy it to show someone, because maybe you don't want to play it because you saw this Let's Play, but get it just because you want to show other people. And if you're one of the many people who grew up on this game, dig out your copy, hook up your old PS2 or GameCube, and relive your childhood. This game deserves to leave a legacy behind, and I hope, I really hope that I was able to contribute to that legacy. I hope that I was able to to add a few pages in the annals of this, this game's history. That maybe, just maybe, it enters the conversation a bit more. And at the very least, developers, it's in their mind as inspiration going forward to make more games like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really in ho hope you enjoyed this series. I loved it. And uh, actually, one more thing. One more thing. This series was a, a, a different... It was a different format for me because of the topic of the days. I've never done that before. The closest I've done was uh, Pikmin 2, where I, I just knew the game very well, and I did many Topic of the Days in episodes. But this is an entirely new thing where I have dedicated segments, and I, I do plan on continuing it, but I will remind you that the next series is Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And Kirby's Return to Dreamland is a co-op Let's Play. So that means no Topic of the Day, and for the most part, it's going to be the respite that I wanted this series to be. All I need to do is edit it. I don't need to record it at all. It's all recorded. I just need to edit it. So, no topic is of, topics of the day for that, but the next series, I will keep this in mind. I know that you guys liked this. The views show it, the likes show it, the comments, the engagement shows that this is a great thing. So, just as a forewarning, the next series on this channel will not follow this format but that doesn't mean that I'm not returning to it. So I hope you enjoy that next series, which is Kirby's Return to Dreamland Co-op. Co-op competition, technically. And believe you me, this is something that I, I enjoyed making a lot, doing scripted content. I think I did a, fair, a pretty good job, and I do plan on making a return to, the, to it in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. <sighs> and I'll see you guys in another video.